All right, bladesmiths. All right, bladesmiths. 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 Welcome to the kill test. It's time to get medieval. Our very own dealer of death, the doer of deadly deeds, the kill test master, Doug Markaida. <laughs> yeah, he just looks like a murderer. I am really nervous. All right, Alex, the balance is light, allowing it to be a very fast weapon that you can use middle hand, long handed, or for close quarters. Your weapon will kill. All right, Trevor, trick or treat. Treat? <laughs> Indeed, it will be a treat. All right, Trevor, the tip alone penetrates deeply into the gut and the edges here are sharp enough to, well, make it lose his head. Overall, sir, it will kill. Thank you, sir. Bladesmiths, a Hanzo's Katana's first duty is to kill. All right, Mike, you're up first, are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Yes. Mike, your edge is razor sharp. But more importantly, there's bone on your edge, but your edge did not roll, did not chip, and your blade stayed true. Overall, sir, your blade will kill. Thank you. Tristan, you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. All right, Tristan, the balance of your blade is very good. It's light, it's fast, it's easily maneuverable. But when steel meets the skull, there were some problems. Your blade took a serious bend. Also, on the edge right here, you took some chipping. But overall, looking at the dummy, I think your weapon will definitely kill. Thank you. Bladesmiths. This is the kill test. The Grim Reaper uses the scythe to harvest the souls of humans when it's their time. To test the lethality of your scythe, I will take your scythe and try to rip out the soul of these ballistics dummies. Chase, you're up first, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. <laughs> oh. Damn. 
All right, Chase, let's talk about your scythe right here. The edge is sharp. Your tip punctures deep, breaking ribs and right into the heart, pulling out its soul. This weapon, sir, it will kill. Good job. Thank you. All right, Brandon, your turn. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Let's do it. I'm pretty nervous, but I'm excited at the same time because I think the ballistics dummy test is one of the coolest tests I've ever seen. Let's talk about your scythe right here. Aside from reaping the soul out of this ballistics dummy, I seem to have taken the clavicle and sternum with it. <laughs> your point here really digs in, but in doing so and hitting the bone, you have a little chip right here at the tip. Oh no. And one on the blade right there. But most importantly, it will kill. There it is. Thank you, sir. All right, bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. Now in Greek mythology, Perseus used his sword to decapitate Medusa and move her head from her body to use it as a weapon. To that end, I will take your weapon and help me to deliver some killing slashes and blows to liberate her head from her body. Robert, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Robert, let's talk about your sword here. I like the design that you have of the Damascus in there, but it's so heavy. It's about five pounds over here, but the thing is, it's so forward heavy. Most of the weight's up here. When I'm lifting this, I can feel all the stress right there. This is supposed to be meant to be a single-handed use weapon. Now, your edge is plenty sharp. It was easy to thrust and cut and it will kill. All right, Jared, your turn. You ready, sir? Yes, sir. All right, Jared. First up, you nailed the balance on this as a one-handed sword. It's about three pounds lighter than your opponent's. Your edge is razor sharp. Every slash is deep. The thrust, no issues at all. And most importantly, sir, it will kill. All right, Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. Mickey, you're up first. You ready for this? You know it. Let's do this. I've designed my blade to do one thing. Slice, cut, and kill. <laughs> All right, Mickey, let's talk about your Okatana right here. To be able to wield a sword this size, the handle is what drives the blade. It's hard to get very accurate because it's big. But what I love about your blade is how sharp your edge is. It cut into the skull, pieces of it came off. And what's important about this katana is it will kill. Thank you, sir. Good job. All right, Collins, your turn. You ready for this? Let's do this. First up, the ginormous handle. It's very hard to grab a complete grip on this, but you have a very sharp tip that punctures easily into this ballistics dummy, but it doesn't lacerate on the way out. It did crush the skull, and any kind of damage like this done to anybody, it will kill. Thank you. 
bladesmiths, this is the kill test. To see what kind of lethal damage your sword will do, I will take your weapon and deliver killing blows on this ram carcass. Bill, ready for the kill? Yes, I am. The ram I think is really appropriate for the period of the weapon that we reproduced. But it's got hair on it, and that hair is pretty abrasive. And that's the only thing I'm worried about, my sword cutting that hair to get to the flesh. Sharp sword. Right, Bill, let's talk about your blade right here. First up, your handle feels good. It's got a nice shape to it that just fits nicely. I like the guard. I like the bronze that you have right there. I can immediately tell where the edge is. This is what I don't like about your blade. It doesn't allow me to have fun. Two hits, it's done. This is really light, fast, and sharp. Bill, it will kill. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Blade Spits, welcome to the kill test. Your Dark Street gun shies look intimidating, but are they deadly? To find that out, I will take your weapon, deliver some killing blows on this ballistic dummy. James, you're up first. You ready for this? There's nothing I can do to stop it. All right, let's do it. To say I'm nervous right now is an understatement. At this point, it's out of my hands. I just hope it can hold up. All right, James, first up, that's a beast. It's very forward heavy, so it definitely feels like a chopper all the way through. Now your handle here, by adding this fur around it, I can't get a good grip on it because it's so soft. Now, your edge is sharp. Overall, sir, you'll kill. Thank you. All right, Paul, your turn, sir, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. I built my blade to be very light. It definitely makes me nervous seeing the ballistics dummy because I know there's a lot of hard bones in there and I'm definitely a little bit worried that could bend, even break in half. You never know what's gonna happen. All right, Paul, first up, I really appreciate the Damascus pattern that you brought out here. Now, the fact that I can hold the weapon out extended like this shows just how light this weapon is for its size. And because of that, I can cut deeply into this without using the weight, just velocity alone. But after that strike of the skull, it's picked up a little bit of a bend. Overall, sir, it will heal. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. I will take your weapon and deliver some thrust and slashes on our dummy from the north. Trevor, you're up first. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, Trevor, first up, it is so light, just like a needle. Your point here allows for a very deep penetration without any effort. Overall, sir, it will kill. Good job. All right, Victor, your turn, so you ready? Ready. All right, Victor, let's talk about your sword here. It's not very light. Overall, though, it's pointy enough to thrust, 
the edge with a weight cuts and it will keel. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, welcome to the keel test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I will take your sword and deliver some killing blows to this ballistic dummy. Peter, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. All right, Peter, first up, your edge is sharp. The balance feels good, but it did take quite a pronounced bend. But the more important thing is, it will keel. <laughs> I, I timed that perfectly. <laughs> All right, Doc Everett, are you ready, sir? Let's do some surgery. Yikes. <laughs> All right, Everett, your edge is very sharp. It slashes nicely. Your tip punctures easily, cuts on the way out. With all these cuts, it will kill. <laughs> All right, Blazefist, well, frankly, your Frankish throwing axes look fantastic, but are they lethal? Well, to find that out, I will take your weapons and deliver some, well, hellish of a blow on this ballistics dummy. Justin, you're up first. You ready? Split it to the teeth. All right, Justin, every chop and slash is deep. Overall, sir, it'll kill. Thank you. All right, Nick, it's your turn. Ready to have fun? Let's do this. All right, Nick. Upon impact, crushes the face easily and the head. Your edges, they dig in with every chop and slash. It will kill. Thanks, Doc. Good job. All right, bladesmiths. To test the lethality of your boar swords, I will deliver thrusts and cuts on this boar carcass. John, you're first. You ready for this? Absolutely. All right, John. First up, I like the balance. I like that I can put two hands in it. It's all void enough to where I can hold on and I can tell where the edge is. And when we're pushing and thrusting as it's meant to be, the tip is sharp enough to thrust all the way through. Your edges, as you can see, are sharp enough to cut pieces out of this poor carcass. Overall, sir, it'll kill. Thanks, sir. Congrats. Thanks, man. All right, Isaac, your turn. Are you ready for this? Make some bacon. All right, Isaac. First stop, it's much lighter. So it's easier to control when you're moving with the blade. And as you can see, when I was thrusting in there, the point you have here, the edges are very sharp. It thrusts all the way in. And even when it hits bone, it's got a very good flex to it. Do not pick up a bend. Overall, sir, your boar sword, 
We'll make bacon and kill. Thank you. Lead Spitz. The Tabar Shish Bar is one weapon with multiple personalities. To see what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I will take you to the bar shish bar and use both ends to deliver killing blows on this ballistic dummy. Mark, you up first. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's see it. Omar, it is sharp. That chopped right into the chest cavity, breaking a bone. This ax dug in and gutted him. Your mace definitely will crush. You can see the breaking bones inside. Your weapon will kill. Thank you. Chris, you ready? I am. into the lung, into the heart. Your mace definitely penetrated through the skull. Bones are broken. I don't think it's gonna end well. Your weapon is heavy, and I'm not a fan of heavy weapons, only because you have to carry it to battle. But overall, it will kill. Thank you. The Sawback Hunting Sword. As the name implies, it's used for hunting, to hunt for the kill. I'm gonna take your weapon, deliver lethal blows on this ram carcass. Trevor, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Let's do this. My heart is, is pounding. And all I can think is, don't break. Don't break. First up, the balance of this weapon is beautiful. It feels like it can move with it, it thrusts, it's sharp. And the first cut alone, it lacerated the carcass over there. The second one, the third one's pretty much just to finish it off. When I grab onto your handle, it feels comfortable. I can tell where the edge is. Now there's one area right here where there's a little bit where the edge rolled because it would hit thick spine. But overall, your weapon, sir, will kill. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do according to its historic design, I will try to cut this big carcass in half. Wayne, you're up first. You ready for this? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. One and done. Well done. All right, Wayne. Your falchion is beautiful. It is sharp. It cut through the spine and all the way through the pig. It's a little bit heavier for a one-handed weapon, but it is well-balanced. Overall, sir, it will kill. <laughs> awesome. All right, Mark, your turn, sir. Are you ready? Let's give it a shot. All right, Mark, let's talk about your falchion here. It's a nice, lighter blade. Your edges are sharp enough to cut through spine, but the problem I have here is your guard. Your edges here are not rounded. They dig in right here where the thumb is. But your blade, sir, it will kill. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths, this is the kill test. To test the lethality of your weapon, I will deliver killing blows on this ballistics dummy. Fill you up first. You ready for this? Yes, sir, man. Let's do it. Going into this test, my heart's starting to pump a little faster. Doug's hopefully just going to destroy this ballistics dummy, and we're going to have pieces flying all over the place and blood on the walls. All right, Phil, the design you have here is scary. <laughs> That's a very thick spine you have. The edges are sharp. As you can see, very deadly. The one thing about this is that 
It's heavy. That is something to take into account when you're carrying something like this into battle and you gotta move multiple times. But more importantly, your weapon will kill. Thank you, sir. All right, John, your turn. You ready? Let's do it. I'm feeling good about the kill test. I know my blade is sharp and I think it'll cut really well. <laughs> Pushed out a rib. All right, John, I love the feel of the blade. You can really fight with it because it's lighter. Your blade also is very slim that it penetrates in there when there's no resistance, even enough to push out a rib. <laughs> More important, I love the balance, I love the feel, and it will kill. Thank you, sir. All right, Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I'll take your weapon, deliver some slashes and thrusts on this big carcass. Scott, you're up first. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. I am super excited to see Doug chop up a pig with my blade. I run my mouth all the time, like, I can do that, I can do that. So now is the time to see if I can really walk the walk, because I know I can talk the talk. Scott, first up, it is light. The balance really allows for velocity and recovery with this blade. And most importantly, it will kill. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mark, your turn. So you ready? Heck yeah. Let's do this. I'm ready to see my sword destroy, cut, slice, but I want to see the insides of that pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging there like chewing gum. All right, Mark, let's talk about your blade here. It's beautiful in its creation. The edge is sharp. I was quite amazed with the cuts. I was surprised that it cut that deeply. The one thing, though, is that that guard right there, it rubs on my knuckle. Not bad, but it does rub on the knuckle. Despite that, it will kill. Yes. All right, Blazes, welcome to the kill test. It's time to get medieval on your broadsword. We're going to take your weapons and deliver some slashes and blows on this ballistics dummy. Close me up first. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's have fun. I'm feeling confident about my sword, but I really don't know what could go wrong. I, I've never made a sword before. All right, Colton, first up, I really appreciate the balance you have with this because it's easy to wield with forward slashes, backhands, and thrusting with it. Your edge is sharp. Now, your handle is just a little bit too tall for me in the sense of it's a wider here, but I can still get a good grip on it. And more importantly, this sword, with its balance, it will kill. Thank you. All right, Scott, it's your turn, so are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. I'm ecstatic to see Doug playing with my sword because it's exciting to see what it can do to the human body, what it's built for. It's got first stop. That is beautiful to look at. Thank you. Now, the wire wrap does give me some kind of contours to hold on to. Every slice, or should I say chop,
dug deep into this ballistic dummy. Overall, the kind of weapon and damage you can do with this, it will kill. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. Now, to find out how lethal your weapons are, I will take your lock of bars and deliver killing blows on this pig carcass. Joshua, you're up first. You ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. I don't mind going first, other than the fact that I might pass out because of anticipation, but I'm ready to see this thing get to work. All right, Joshua, first up, your blade, it's a pork chopper. <laughs> On its thrust, do you see the wound channel? It creates such a big, deep gash. It's fun to wield, it's sharp, and most importantly, it will kill. Good job. Thank you. All right, Jesse, your turn. You ready? Absolutely. Let's do it. I'm really anxious about this test. It's a little bit heavy. I'm hoping that that's not going to be a determining factor. I don't know how this is going to go. First up, your blade has the weight that every chop into something want to keep going. It wants to keep going and going and going to where pretty much took me with it. Good chops, good cuts, and more importantly, it will heal. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, to find out how lethal your Nagamakis are, I will take your weapons, deliver killing blows, slashes, and thrusts on this wild boar carcass. Braxton, you up first. You ready for this? I'm ready. Go ahead. Let's do this. <laughs> Man, we have hogs around where I'm from. Skin is very, very thick. I'm nervous, but there's nothing I can do. I guess gotta let the chips fall where they lay. <laughs> All right, Braxton. Your nagamaki here is definitely not boring. <laughs> it is razor sharp. Every cut with this thick wild boar carcass allowed me to peel off layers of the very thick hide that it has. Also, the lightness that you have with this blade allows for switching with the grip here. It's got very good grip in the handle. I can index exactly where the edge is at all times. Overall, sir, your nagamaki will kill. Thank you. All right, Jake, it's your turn. Ready for this? Chop them up. Let's do this. It makes me a little bit nervous. I really want mine to chop through the boar as well, but the blade can actually take a lot of damage during the boar testing because there's bones. I know that Braxton's blade set a very high bar. Mine needs to perform just as good as his. All right, Jake, let's talk about your Nagamaki here. It's sharp. Wielding this weapon is a lot of fun also. The weight you have here and the balance works. Overall, sir, your Nagamaki will kill. Thank you. All right, Blaze Miss, this is the pig carcass slice and dice. I will take your weapon and deliver killing blows on this pig carcass. John, you're up first. You ready for this? Let's bake some bacon, bud. This is not an easy test to pass. This is where I find out, did I make a sword or a couple pieces of scrap metal? Oh, yeah.
Yes. All right, John, your messer is sharp. It's a little bit forward heavy, but the weight lends itself to chop the pig in half. Now your by knife, razor sharp. Those cuts alone, we're cutting deeply with every move, and overall, sir, it will kill. Oh, yes. All right, Jeff, your turn. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Doug Marcotti is going to pick up the stuff that I made, and he's going to test it on this pig. So I'm a little bit nervous at this point. All right, Jeff, your messer. Beautiful balance. It's not forward heavy. It actually is something I can wield forward, same balance on the recovery when I'm pulling back to cut. Now, your by knife. The edge is razor sharp with every cut and stab that it does. Overall, sir, your weapons, they will kill. Thanks, sir. All right, bladesmiths, to find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I will take your Greek copus and deliver some killing blows on this ballistic dummy. John, you're up first. You ready? Ready. I'm pretty nervous. There is no way to prepare yourself for this moment. I'm just going to hope that my blade survives. All right, John, let's talk about your copus here. There is a little crack that goes around the edge on both sides. When I saw the tip, I thought it was going to be tip heavy. It's not. There's good recovery with this. It's a very powerful weapon, sir. It will kill. Thank you. All right, Mike, it's time to have fun with your blade. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. All right, Mike, let's talk about your Greek copus right here. It is heavier, but every shot that I go in there cuts. You have a sharp edge, but more importantly, sir, it will kill. Thank you. Good job. All right, Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I will take your crisis and deliver slashes and thrust on this big carcass. John, you're up first. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. I'm just so nervous at this point that my legs are actually shaking. And I don't know if I'm just so nervous to see it in the hands of somebody else or nervous that it's going to break. <laughs> <laughs> I think having these waves here pretty much answers what kind of damage that will do. Every thrust pierces in. I could feel it riding the skin and cutting. If you look at the wound channel on the way out, it's that wide. This definitely has a sharp edge. Overall, sir, it will kill. Thank you. All right, Steve, it's your turn. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. Dude, that's impressive. All right, Steve, let's talk about your Chris here. 
The balance of this blade is really good. It's done in such a way to where I can really get speed in cutting. And because your angle, so the edge over here, is almost like an acute edge, it allows to cut deeply into this big carcass. It's light, it's fast, and it's sharp, and it will kill. Thank you very much. Bladesmiths, to see what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I'll take your Yadagon and deliver slashes and thrust on this ballistics dummy. Dave, you're first. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. I'm so nervous right now, and I'm just hoping my blade will perform well. That bow's dropping out everywhere. Let's talk about your weapon, Dave. It follows the feel of a Yadagon that's supposed to be light and deadly. The edge you have here is sharp, where it's curved in to lacerate. Your Yadagon will kill. Thank you very much. All right, Gabe, your turn. You ready? Go nuts, man. Let's do this. Dave's blade performed seemingly really well. Guts falling out of the thing and blood everywhere, so a little nerve-wracking, knowing they'll have to at least measure up to that. All right, Gabe, it is so light, it really feels like it's not there. It's almost scary. When I thrust, it penetrates easily and slashes down. Overall, sir, your blade, will kill. Thank you. All right, Blazefist, welcome to the kill test. I will take your weapon. There were some thrusts and slashes on this wild boar carcass. Zane, you're up first. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. Ooh, this is the moment I have been waiting for. <laughs> I have been wanting to see my blade attack a boar for the longest time, and it's happening now. This is going to be really awesome. All right, Zane, let's talk about your weapon here. First up, your tip is really made to thrust. It punctures really deep when I'm thrusting with it, but I can move with this weapon. You have a good balance here. The edge here is sharp. As you can see, those are very, very deep, sharp cuts. Overall, sir, your weapon will kill. Thank you, Doug. All right, Chris, it's your turn. You ready? Yes, sir. Zane's spontoon had a heck of an edge on that thing. I'm just hoping that mine does as well or better. I'm holding my breath. All right, Chris, let's talk about your weapon here. What I love about this is when you're thrusting, I can feel the weight in front and crunch ribs as it's penetrating. Overall, sir, your weapon will kill. Thank you, sir. All right, Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. I'm gonna take your rapiers and deliver some killing slashes and thrusts on this big carcass. For these musketeer swords, it's time to find out if you're all for one champion or one for all the runner-ups. <laughs> Jesse, you're up first. You ready for this? Let's cut some bacon. All right, let's do this. To be chopping into a full-size pig, this is crazy. I'm worried because there's bones inside that pig, but at this point, it's in the judge's hands, and I can't wait to see what happens. Jesse, 
This edge is sharp. A rapier cut a big in half? <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> for every slash, the edge lands exactly where I want it to be. Okay. Overall, sir, for this test, it will kill. <laughs> All right, ready, Teddy? Let's do it. Let's do this. I'm nervous. Jesse goes first, and Doug takes his sword and delivers some massive slashes. Then he cuts the pig in half. So I hope Mike can match that. Teddy, your edge. When you're slashing with the razor's edge that you have on your blade, it slices easily and deeply on this big carcass. Your weapon, sir, will kill. Awesome. All right, bladesmiths. Captain Mad Jack Churchill may have been mad enough to take a back sword into modern combat. But what I want to know is, are your swords mad enough if called upon to kill? To that end, I will deliver some killing blows to this ballistics dummy. Did it here first. You ready for this? I came here to watch you kill and chew bubble gum, and I'm out of bubble gum. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do this. There are a number of things that could go wrong in this kind of test. If my blade gets twisted wrong, maybe it breaks. I, I don't know. I've never chopped into a torso before. First up, I really like the way the Damascus pattern shows in your sword. Now, your handle, it's comfortable. There are no hot spots. Every cut you do with this blade is sharp enough to cut deeply. Overall, your weapon will kill. Thank you very much. All right, Robert, your turn, sir. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. I will not be denied. <laughs> All right, Robert, let's talk about your back sword here. The tip, very pointy, thrust in easily, cuts on the way out. Your handle here, it's loose. It's really wiggling in my hand. But overall, sir, your back sword will kill. Thank you. <laughs> 